We often use the word seizure threshold when we talk with a family and a child about having seizures. And if a child has had a seizure or a few seizures, then we talk that that child has a lower seizure threshold than the parents or than I do. I have not had any seizures, so if someone else has, then their threshold for having a seizure or for unusual electrical activity to start in their brain leading to a seizure is lower. Then when we talk about a lower seizure threshold, we talk with the family that if we put a child in the medication, it will effectively raise the threshold back up, making it less likely for that child to have a seizure. But we also know that there are several things that can stress a child or stress an individual with epilepsy, making it, even in the presence of medicine, more likely for them to have a seizure. And this can be anything that stresses the child or their system. So for many people, common stresses or triggers are being overly tired, being very sick, having high fever. Um, but there are many triggers, uh, many of which we don't understand. I have many families who honestly believe that dramatic changes in weather are associated with their change in their child's seizure frequency, and I believe that. Um, we have other children who certain smells or certain experiences, excitement, being upset can trigger their seizures, and I also believe that. Um, we just don't understand how these different stresses lead to the child having a seizure episode.